Ahoy me hearties! Today is talk like a pirate day, so it is. My name is Captain Heather Nobeard of the good ship Goldstone, and I'm here to tell you the tale of Charlie Crossbones and the pesky parrot, adapted from a story by Russell Punter. Are you ready, my little landlubbers? Are you sitting comfortably? All right, one, two, three, go! It was Charlie Crossbones' first day being a pirate. He had spent the last 10 years in pirate school and now he was ready to sail for treasure. He knew how to read a treasure map, unlock a sea chest, sneak up and steal some gold, brandish a sword and shoot a blunderbuss and all sorts of other piratey things. He even had a terrific piratey laugh, har ha har. Charlie was lucky. He had inherited his grandfather's pirate ship and all the gear that went with it. But there was one thing missing. Charlie didn't have a parrot. Every pirate needs a parrot, said Charlie. But where do you find a parrot? Suddenly, Charlie saw exactly what he was looking for. Used parrot sale. Get your parrots here. Parrots going cheap. There were so many different kinds of parrots, Charlie could hardly believe his eyes. There were big ones and small ones and fat ones and skinny ones. But the one thing they all had in common, they were expensive ones. Charlie looked at a red one, too expensive. He looked at a blue one, too expensive. He looked at a green one, too expensive. He looked at a yellow one, too expensive. Poor Charlie. Have you got one for a penny? He asked. A penny, you must be joking, sailor, came the reply. But Charlie wasn't joking. He only had one penny. Suddenly, the parrot seller got an idea. Well, me lad, I suppose I could sell you this one for a penny. It was the most beautiful bird Charlie had ever seen. It was green on the top and blue on the wings and yellow in the middle with a big black beak. Oh, thank you kindly, sir, came the reply. Oh, make no mistake there, young lad. You've got yourself a very special parrot. Now that Charlie had a parrot, he felt like a proper pirate. All he needed to do now was steal some treasure. Out at sea, he spotted a ship called the Fat Flounder. He knew it was owned by a rich man named Captain Silverside. Come on, Polynesia, let's go steal some treasure. They got into a rowboat with Charlie on one oar and the parrot on the other. And to, together, they rowed out to the Fat Flounder and then sneaked in the window. Charlie couldn't believe his eyes right there on the table, three shiny gold pieces. But just as he was about to put one in his pocket, something terrible happened. Og, stop thief, stop thief, shh, quiet. Stop thief, help, help, quiet, hush. But it was too late. Captain Silverside and his men chased Charlie around the deck three times. He jumped into the water, swam back to the rowboat. And as he was rowing back, to the shore. He said to Polynesia, Oh, what'd you do that for, you pesky parrot? Don't do it again. But the parrot did do it again. Every single time Charlie tried to steal some gold. Oh, stop thief, stop thief. <sighs> Unlock a sea chest. Oh, burglar, burglar, help, help. <sighs> Dig for buried treasure. Oh, not yours, stop thief, help. <sighs> Poor Charlie. Clearly, the parrot needed to go, but every time he tried to get rid of it, the parrot always found its way back to his shoulder. <coughs> the other pirates found it so funny that they wrote a sea shanty about it. Oh, the parrot came back the very next day. The parrot came back. Charlie thought he was gone, but the parrot came back. He just couldn't stay away. One night, Charlie was hungry. He decided to get a bite at the Laughing Lobster Inn. He looked at the menu to see what he could afford. There was the super deluxe menu of scrummy, scampy, and mouth-watering mussels for seven pennies, but Charlie didn't have seven pennies. There was the deluxe menu of crispy cod and fancy fish cakes for six pennies, but Charlie didn't have six pennies. There was the cheap menu of shrimp on toast for two pennies, 
But poor Charlie didn't even have two pennies. Then there was the very cheap menu of dry bread and moldy cheese for one penny. Charlie only had one penny. Poor Charlie. As he sat there looking at his miserable meal, feeling very sorry for himself, he was thinking the only way to become a prosperous pirate was to get rid of the parrot. The landlord of the inn noticed how sad Charlie was, came over to talk to him to try to cheer him up. They were so deep in conversation, they never saw a thief sneaking up to steal the landlord's cash box. But someone noticed, Oh, stop thief, stop thief, help, burglar, burglar. The thief was caught, the money was safe. And everything was as it should be. The landlord said to Charlie, why, that's the best parrot I've ever seen. I wish I had one like it. Too bad it's not for sale. This gave Charlie a wonderful idea. He sold the parrot to the landlord for quite a lot of money. And the landlord loved his new burglar alarm, burglar alarm. The parrot loved his job saying, stop thief, stop thief. And Charlie used the money to buy himself a proper parrot. A quiet one this time. The end.